Tom, congrats. I think uh, safe to say kind of the star of the show tonight. Uh, I guess, how are you feeling right now with the USC deal secured and the highlight reel finish as well? Yeah, man, it feels awesome. I'm, uh, I've calmed down now, but um, it's exactly how I thought it was going to be. So now that I've calmed down, it's pretty surreal. I'm feeling good. Nice. What were the feelings like coming into this versus, you know, a typical fight for you? Um, strange. Uh, usually I'm much more nervous. That's the weird thing about it. So, like, warming up out the back, I... Um, for maybe a minute, I got a, a little bit of, of an adrenaline dump, and then I just, I don't know, something clicked, and I was like, oh, no, I'm meant to be here. This, this feels good. Whereas usually I kind of, uh, uh, like, everything kind of pulses in my eyes, and I kind of feel a bit like, I don't, not, 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 not really here, but, yeah, I was, um, I was feeling awesome. Very nice. And I got to imagine after a finish like that, I mean, we all kind of looked around and be like, well, that one's done. I mean, uh, did, you, did you feel pretty much the same? Like, I guess there's no question I'm, I'm going to be in the UFC? Yeah, yeah, I knew I was in. 100%. Very nice. Still hearing the words from Dana and hearing the high praise as well. I mean, what, what did that mean to you? Yeah, it was awesome to even, even see Dana was cool. Uh, for him to talk to me like that was a dream come true. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I think he was out before you hit him with the, the one on the ground. Uh, was, that a, was that a little message there? Or? Yeah, you know, like um, this guy's been trash talking me the whole time. Um, like I said in my interview before, um, when I was younger, I, I didn't quite stand up for myself the way I should have, and I've learned from that, and now I won't, I won't take disrespect. And he disrespected me, and that was me saying, hey, you know, this is, this is the game you want to play, you want to talk like that. Um, you know, don't let, don't let skinny guys knock you out. That's my message to him. You know, he's, <laughs> he's making fun of me saying I'm, I'm a tall, lanky, skinny guy. It's like, well, you better not let me touch your chin because you go to sleep, and that's what happened. Incredible. I know there's a lot of excitement around you now. Um, how do you see, I mean, you're still young, early in your career. I mean, how do you see your journey into the UFC? Is it like, let's rocky ride to the top as fast as we can, or is it kind of a meaty pace? Like, how do you see it? Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, I've only had six pro fights, but I feel like I'm super experienced. Uh, I, like I said, I've said from the beginning, I think I'm, I can hang in the top 15 right now like, quite easily. But in saying that, I want to get experience as well. Um, and I want to get paid. So, you know, I would like to build my way up, uh, knock a few people out, and, and do it properly, you know? I love it. Last thing for me, I guess, is there an ideal scenario for you uh, in your debut? Is it uh, fighting down under? Are there other options? I mean, the, the dates, locations, what, what do you think would be the ideal scenario for your debut? Not sure yet. I'll um, sit down with my team and my managers uh, tomorrow, and we'll figure it out. Yeah. Hey, Tom. There is an Australia card in September. Like, would you be down to hop on that card, or is that something you want to sit down with your managers and kind of figure out? Yeah, we need to sit down and, and figure it out. I think. If it, if it, if you had it your way, would you make your debut and like with a quick turnaround, or do you or do you want like a full camp for your UFC debut? I would like a full camp. I'd, yeah, I like a full camp definitely. Where'd your nickname come from? Uh, UFC PlayStation game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And then finally, um, you know, 6'3 lightweight, that's, that's humongous. How's the weight cut? Like, is it, is it brutal? Because we've heard, you know, Jalen Turner's a big lightweight. It's, it, what, what's it like for you? You won't believe me, but um, it's, it's very easy for me. <laughs> People are always often surprised. But, yeah, I'm on weight the night before every single time. Like, it's, it's, it's very easy. I barely cut. In terms of sweating when I say I barely cut, I diet down. And I sweat a little bit, but yeah, with the water load, I'm, I'm on weight. What do you usually walk around at? Um, the biggest I'll get is 80 kilos. That's like after a fight, not a couple of days not training, a bit swollen from like the, the refeed and everything. You know, I walk around usually like 77, 78. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. So I'm over here. I know you just said you're not sure what's next, but um, when you look at the landscape of the lightweight division, it's, you could see why it's a lot of people's favorite division. Is there a fighter in, like, the top 10, 15 guys that you're like, yeah, I want to fight him one day? Maybe it's, like, a dream fight or something. Um, well, obviously, Conor McGregor is a dream fight, but I, I don't think he would be back at lightweight uh, for a while. But other than that, not really any dream fights. Um, I, I want to fight everyone, so, yeah. And I know you just, you've been mentioning your opponent trash-talking you. Um, was that just, like, when you guys saw each other here in Vegas, or was that him, like, going into your DMs the whole time? Or? Yeah, so he was sending me videos of him, like, flexing shirtless with his coaches going, like, oh, yeah, wow, so strong. And with, like, um, no, no message, like, he didn't, like, send me a message and then send that. He just sent that. So I wrote back, like, uh, okay, bro, like, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, weird old tactic. I don't know what he was, obviously he was trying to get in my head, but, you know, like I told him, I said, hey, we both know that you're going to sleep. Like, he's 11 and 1, but, uh, you know, we did our research. He, he fought nobody, you know, so I, I knew he was going to sleep. And once it was all settled, did you tell him anything after the fight? Uh, don't talk shit, that's what I said. <laughs> I said it's a good lesson for him and his team, you know, like, um, we're respectful. I, I don't like doing that. I enjoy going in. I mean, I, I like to fight people for sure, but I don't think we need to do all that, you know? So it, I, I enjoy giving the lessons out to people like that. You know, if you're going to talk shit to me, I'm absolutely going to give you a good lesson for it. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. There's two quick ones for me. The finish was just phenomenal. Obviously, what a way to kick off season seven, episode one. That's, that's the one right there. What did you guys study, or what did the team say? Like, hey, that left hand is going to be right there for him when you touch him. It's the opening. Find it. Get it. Yeah, he, um, he leads with his chin. Um, we saw footage of him breaking down my fight. So we saw the low calf kick. He was um, trying to counter that with the overhand right. So I knew everything would come from my left side. That, that first head kick I landed set everything up. And then, um, yeah, I knew that left hand was going to be available as soon as I started touching that. And then I, I dropped him first with it and then knocked him out with it. So, yeah, we game planned everywhere for this. Uh, in, even the grappling departments, like, I didn't get to show it, but we were ready for everything, absolutely everything he was going to throw. Excellent, because it looked like it for sure. When you – that sequence in slow-mo showed the right hand coming right after straight. So you had something – lined up to just to really put a, the icing on the cake. Yeah. And, and lastly for me, I'm sure other people can relate, the fans watching that are automatically fans of you now with not just the highlight reel but the story, you were able to turn things around, conquer the, the demons, if you will, with the bullying. What's the message to anybody that might be in the same spot that wants to turn it around or go about it a healthy way, positive to rise to the occasion like you did? Surround yourself with the best people. Um, I've had a lot of adversity in my life outside of the cage. Um, as a young man, I've been through a lot, and it's the people around me that have, you know, helped me become who I am. I, I strongly believe that, you know. My team and my family, I have a really tight, tight circle, and um, they help me believe in myself, and now I do truly believe in myself. Like, tonight, it, it, it all clicked for me. I truly believe in myself, and I, I owe it to them. Excellent. Thank you for that, and congrats on the win and the contract. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hi, Tom. Just one quick question. Um, you mentioned you don't really like the trash talk, but you also mentioned that you want to fight Conor McGregor, which seems like a contradiction. <laughs> Can you explain that to me? Oh, I, just because it's a dream fight, because he's, he's, he's uh, been one of my idols, you know what I mean? He's, he's, um, he's awesome. So it's not because of the trash talk, it's just because of who he is. But again, I, I don't see that happening. I think he's going to be probably uh, gone and retired by the time I'm sort of entering that realm of the top 15, I guess, and I think he's probably going to be a welterweight now as well, so, but it's just a dream fight, you know. Do you feel like there's room for trash talk if it's done correctly? Like, maybe that's, I'm assuming that you don't mind the way Connor tra 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 trash talks if you want to fight him, or are, is it all no trash talk? Um, I mean, if people want to trash talk, I'm just going to knock them out for it. I don't mind, like... <laughs> I'm just saying I prefer not to go down that. Like, I prefer to just sign the contracts, show up, and beat people up. But if they want to talk shit, then let's do it. But, you know, I don't, I don't prefer to do it, you know? Thank you. Hey, Tom. As you reflect on the Australians that have come before you in this new wave and you're the new generation, it's the beginning of your journey, what's something as you look forward towards, you know, and I understand it's just the beginning for you, what mark do you want to make as a new generational talent for the Australians? Um, well, I believe Australia, I believe we're pound for pound the best. I reckon we have the best talent coming through. And I sort of want to show the mark of the new wave, the new age people coming through. You know, I've got teammates who are going to be on this stage soon. Absolutely. My, uh, some of my coaches slash teammates, you know, Don Marfan, Elliot Compton, they're some of the best lightweights in the world and they're coming up through as well. So I guess I'm leading that pack at the moment, which is, I'm, I'm proud to say. And more personally for you, what legacy are you wanting to leave for those behind when, you, when you're done with this game? Uh, I want to be one of the greatest of all time. Thank you.